Hello students and friends. In today's video we will learn about polar nature of water. For today's experiment we need straw, tissue paper, tap, bottle with water, cloth, a thread placed inside the tap hole in this way. To make sure the flow of water will be vertical in a single line in this way. Now let us take the cloth and use this cloth to stop overflowing of water. When water is poured, the water should be flown vertically in a single line along the thread in this way. We know that water has two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen being negatively charged and hydrogen being positively charged. Now let us take the straw and tissue paper and rub them with each other. Straw gets positive charge and tissue paper gets negative charge. Now when a vertically flowing single line of water is inclined towards a positively charged straw when placed next to it. Why is this happening? Now let, us, let us observe water is flowing in a single line here. When positively charged straw is placed next to it, we can see a very clear inclination of water towards the straw. Yes, there it is. Why is this happening? This is happening because because of the negatively charged oxygen atoms in the water are attracted towards positively charged straw. When a, when a negatively charged tissue paper is placed next to the water, we can see a repulsion which proves that positively charged hydrogen atoms are attracted towards the negative charge. This shows that even though water is neutral, the ionic compounds in the water that is oxygen and hydrogen are causing repulsion and attraction. This proves that water is polar compound. 